there! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're bringing you to Meng Dingshan in Sichuan province. Among all six types of tea, yellow tea is the least known category, and the yellow yeast step is always fascinating to tea lovers. Today we're going to share with you how Meng Ding Huang Ya is made, and some insights about yellow yin. Meng Ding Huang Ya is a yellow tea that's made entirely with early buds. The first step to make this tea is sifting, because realistically, it's very hard to have the perfect plot. This skillful sifting step will help get rid of the leaves in the batch. Then comes the long overnight wait, during which the leaves wither. This is also yellowing. Whether you call it withering or yellowing, this step fundamentally gives time for the leaves to oxidize slowly. Hi everybody! Here we are, day two at Meng Dingshan. Yeah, the sun hasn't risen yet, but we're heading to see how the yellow tea are made. We're quite lucky. It's a really rainy area all year round, but we got some uh, really sunny day coming up. Second day in a row. Sec second day in a row, actually. Really That's lucky. why we have material for yellow tea. And uh, we're going to just go up to the mountain and um, see what we can see. See where? See you soon. <sighs> Climbing some mountains. <sighs> you can see your breath just a little bit. Huh? It's cool, but not cold. Right. Ah, look at the curly, curly, twisty road. Ah. All right, so we're on the uh, mountain now. I think right. they've already started the yellow tea process. No, they haven't started oh. yellow tea. They waited for us. Oh. So they were just uh, doing some green tea right there. I'm taking a shot. See the sunrise there and the back of the, the tea hill tea behind hill, me. And somebody's actually working in the farm already. <sighs> cool. So we're going to get started with our day. Right. You can tell we're a bit winded. It's quite a climb up here. I think we're at about 1,100 meters. Yes, that's right. So, so a good way to start your morning, healthy lifestyle on the mountain. Yeah, looking forward for the breakfast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get the tea started. So these are the leaves we're going to process into yellow tea today. They were they were plucked yesterday and um, have been uh, airing slash withering for the night. So we'll see how they do that. Because wow. Meng Ding Huang Ya only uses buds, the yield is very low. 20 acres of the farm only produce about 25 kilos of it in one season. Today we have 800 grams of fresh leaves for processing. By the time it's done, the finished tea would probably be around 170 grams. Before the leaves hit the pan, there are two mini steps. One is measuring, weighing out the proper portion for one pan firing. It's about 350 grams of fresh leaves. The other step is sifting. A second sifting gets rid of as much leaves out as possible. Now it's time for the first round of pan firing. The goal here is to reduce the water in the leaves by about 30%. And the temperature... So on the pot is 220 Celsius, and on the leaves it's about 7 to 87, 8, 70 to 80 degrees. So they used to use uh, cloth. No, they used to use the local yellow uh, paper to wrap it, but the quality and seems to be lower now. So they kind of improved that to the poor cake, that kind of a uh, 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 cotton paper. Mm -hmm. Leaf. Yeah, so the leaf temperature is about 83 C. something, 83 C. Uh, C. So the, on the edge of the uh, pod is uh, 202. It's 202 C. You want to feel the temperature? 
Oh, so the temperature rise up to 300 C almost. It's the time. Oh, just get it. Just Warm like up. how you stir fry, you get that really hot, then you hit it. Yes. Then um, bring the temperature down, but not too low. Right. So then this is another round of cold grain with this little package here. This is yellow tea batch too? Yes, and that's it for today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he broke the 800 into two 400 gram batches. Right. Huh? Four, yeah, yeah, three, five, five ish. Then the leaves will be wrapped up for slow oxidation. This round of wrapped yellowing process took about four to five hours. The leaves were being flipped every 30 minutes so that they yellow evenly. And now they're wrapping it. And ta da! This is breakfast. Long Chao Shou. We didn't put the uh, hot oil on because yesterday the dishes were pretty hot actually. We took a little trip to the top of Mount Dingshan while the leaves are yellowing. Hey guys! Hey! We are on top of Meng Ding. Meng Ding Shan. Yes. And we've got some tea leaves that Jian Li just picked. She just plucked them from the garden that's behind us. Yes. And one of the cool things about being in a tea garden is you can try the tea fresh. Yes. And, and you actually had some on the way up the uh, mountain. So we're, go we're just going to try it out and see if there's any difference. Mm -hmm. Wow. Less astringent. Oh, less astringent than down, uh, not Wait. downstairs, but... I feel, yeah. It was initially was sweet, now it's coming out with some astringency. Yeah, the first hit was a sweet and uh, mm -hmm. was a really just the aromatic side of Juicy. the tea. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But now for me, I was like, ooh, that's pretty astringent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But still uh, fresh and green. Mm -hmm. Trying to capture the uh, tea a beautiful field. View that's behind us where the we field. get the yeah. butts. So uh, one of the things Mengding is famous for is it's the first place where tea was actually cultivated by people. And this is the garden where that happened. Um, these aren't the original seven bushes, but there were originally these seven bushes here. And actually the concept of Qingming being a precious time for tea comes from here. This is where the, um, these bushes were each harvested. Only 12 buds from each of the seven bushes was harvested. And that was made into a tribute tea for the emperor. Um, so that he could give that to his ancestors at Qingming. So, and this lion here, or tiger at the top, guards the garden. So you better not try to get some tea from there. I hope this video gives you some ideas about yellow tea and the mysterious yellowing step. Every tea is made differently. Yellowing as a phase of a yellow tea process, it doesn't have to be a single step. It's a highly controlled process to encourage light oxidation in the leaves. It adds complications and risks in the process. The result of all the hassles will sometimes seem to be just another green tea to those who just get into tea, especially when it comes to the higher-end yellow teas. This is the main reason why yellow tea is less known and less seen in the market. After two more runs of pan firing and yellowing, the leaves will be ready for the final step, roasting, or say final drying. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for information and brewing tips on Chinese tea and tea culture. Until next time, keep it steeping!